Good afternoon, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 3.58 p.m., Friday, November 26th. Today, let's knock out some vegan bullshit. Today's subject, we're going to look about how these vegans are posting fictitious studies and have created a fake journal to give their supposed study some kind of aura of credibility. And I'm about to take that all away in a simple video today. This is the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Notice we have two characters that are very recognizable in the vegan hierarchy. Dr. Greger, Dr. Neil Bernard. Dr. Greger, who uses the title of doctor, hasn't actually earned it. Uh, when I checked his records, and anybody could check, you know, his record, he has done neither his res residency or his internship, which means he can't have a private practice. He doesn't have a degree in preventive medicine, so he needs to stop preaching veganism as preventive medicine because he has no functionality or credentials to do that. Uh, he claims he's an expert in infectious disease. Uh, he claims that he wrote, uh, he contributed to a study in 1994 on mad cow disease. And what he actually did is, uh, in 1994, was edit a blog for the Humane Society uh, of the U.S. about mad cow disease. He has no credentials in infectious disease. The guy does bold-faced lies on YouTube, and somehow vegans aren't able to check this or have no ability to check it. Okay? Now, Dr. Neil Bernard, who says he's an expert in nutrition, I checked his record, and he has a degree in psychiatry and neurology. Nothing to do with nutrition. He's not in his field. How he got involved with this Again, he's one of those doctors that will sell his credentials to any business like Blue Horizon Ventures, where Dr. Greger is now an advisor at, in order to gain wealth. He's worth about $6 million. This guy, too, he's worth millions of dollars. Hasn't done anything in the medical field to help anybody but promote vegan quackery. Now, the PCRM... Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. You go to the PhDs who uh, who take a, a responsible step to review these organizations that claim they're helping you with health, and they said the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine does nothing but sell itself and its ideals. It doesn't do anything or prove anything about health, and that. Neil Bernard, MD, has been identified as a medical advisor to the radical animal rights organization People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, and PCRM may be substantially funded by it. So he's getting paid by PETA to give the vegan, vegetarian supercell. So there you go. And they go over the science and after they do the, go over the uh, science, they claim that it's that the vegan diet is so healthy. There is no difference. There is none. The claims that Dr. Bernard makes are unfounded. He's not capable of doing any research. And now we're speaking about research. Oh, you're going to love this one. This one takes the cake. When PCRM does research, they pay the American College of Nutrition to do the study. The problem with that the people that staff the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine actually uh, are at doing the study for PCRM at the American College of Nutrition. So it's not an unbiased study if the people from the P uh, PCRM are the same people of the ACN. So they give a grant to themselves under the guise of uh, another institute. The, the study... I, I looked at one study, 46 of the 48 references, or 46 of the people on the staff at ACM also work for the PCRM, 
and they're peer reviewing their own papers and rubber stamping it and putting it into this fake journal. This journal isn't worth wiping your ass with. That's how bad it is. It's a fraud. There's also another thing people don't know about the American College of Nutrition. Dr. Joseph McCullough is a fellow of the American College of Nutrition. So he is one of the top head honchos at the ACN. Right? They give grants to the ACN to do studies. The ACN pulls up all the references from the PCRM, uses them as the basis of their study, and he just rubber stamp it. So that 46 out of the 48 members of the ACN staff also work for the PCRM. Their peer review and their own studies. I hope that computes because that's outright et unethical and it's scientific fraud. And you might ask, well, what else is Joseph Mercola? You know, what, what's up with him? Well, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Mercola spread misinformation about the virus and pseudo-scientific anti-vaccine misinformation on social media platforms. And he's not the only one. His buddy over here also did during an interview with Edward Gaunt, Earthling Ed. Okay? And uh, PolitiFact flagged Ed's Instagram account for the false information that he was spreading on COVID-19. And Ed automatically went in denial and, Oh, they're picking on me. They don't like me because I'm vegan. They're anti-vegan. No, they don't like you because... You're spreading misinformation that could cause people to lose their lives, Ed. So, he has been warned numerous times by the FDA for selling unapproved health products, including supposed treatments for COVID-19. Mercola was banned from YouTube September 29, 2021. And I think the rest of the quacks need to be banned as well. That Especially this group here. All of these characters here. They need to be banned. They, they all walk it in lockstep, spreading the same misinformation that's going to kill people. Also, you might want to see that Dr. Mercola from the esteemed American College of Nutrition has been ordered to stop illegal claims by the FDA. So, there we got people who are the uh, top of the vegan community scientists or scientist, and they all been proven to be nothing more than frauds. So don't come and show me these vegan studies done by these frauds when I know how they're posting them to a fucking a journal for hire who will post anything as long as you give them enough money. They'll do a study. What do you want the outcome of the study to be? Oh yeah, we'll adjust the data. They, they don't even have to ask an outside party. The people doing the study are the same people who gave the grant to do the study. They're the same people at the ACN and PCRM. That's outright fraud. What can't you understand? What can't you understand? I have a video on here exposing that with the study. And then you go to the disclaimer and it says right there, 46 of the 48 people who've done this study at ACN also work for the PCRM. That's not how you do a controlled study, an unbiased controlled study. It's, it's not an unbiased controlled study at all, not even close to it. These guys are frauds, and I think more of them need to be kicked off. Not only Mercola, but the rest of this group of quacks need to be kicked off for YouTube as well. Now, YouTube, these guys are spreading misinformation, and they've been caught. What are you going to do? People, you need to start flagging them. If Dr. Joseph Mercola cannot be on YouTube anymore, neither can these guys, because he's spreading the same. They're spreading the same misinformation. They gotta go. And on that note, I'm out of here.